Uh, it's twofold. One, I'm just making sure that everybody is available that uh, we were expecting to be available or was anything last yeah, minute? Uh, everybody's available, uh, but Blake and James Johnson are just going to sit to rotate. Um, uh, just kind of going through these games, getting everyone minutes and giving each a chance to rest. So that was it. That's it, right? That's and the uh, second part was late last night, uh, Kyrie went to social media uh, and had a long uh, monologue explaining, I guess, his point of view and his hesitancy and um, his reasoning, or at least parts of his reasoning. I was curious, uh, were you apprised of what he was saying? And did that kind of jibe with everything that he had told you, or did you find any of it surprising and uh, startling? To be honest, I didn't listen to it. Um, and, you know, I think I've pretty much said everything I have to say about it. I mean, if something changes, we can talk about it, but, um, you know, I really want to focus on moving forward and, and our group and, and solutions to, to the challenge ahead of us. Hi, Steve. Joe Varden from The Athletic Cartel with the mask. Um, I, I know that some of your guys have been asked this, but I just wanted to ask you for your thoughts on it. Do you, without him in the fold, do you still feel like you have enough to win here and win big? Yeah, I, mean, I think we still have a, a very high potential. You know, I think we have great characters in that locker room. We have uh, veterans. We have, uh, you know... <laughs> we still are a talented group. We lost an incredibly talented player, but we're still a very talented group. And like I said, you know, veterans and, and uh, character, and I think we can build something great. So our, our goal hasn't changed. Just the, the way they are, is going to be a little different. Hey coach. Uh, obviously the last game against the Sixers wasn't what you would expect moving into the regular season. I guess, A, what do you glean from that game? Like, How much can you take away from it just being a preseason game versus only being two games away from the regular season? And I guess what were some areas of emphasis in practice and in film sessions that you guys want to tighten up? Yeah, it was. we just didn't play well. Um, you know, I'm not going to overreact to a preseason game, but there was definitely some things we could clean up on the tape. You know, we... I don't think we were physical. I don't think we gave the, the game the requisite application. Um, and it was really the first day where we've dropped our level in camp. So you kind of give the guys a pass and you use it as an opportunity to take something forward. And uh, we were able to look at the tape and improve on a few things. And, you know, we got another chance tonight to to play well and work. And then over the weekend, we get a couple more workouts and then we'll be ready to go or as ready as can be. And it's a long season. So we're not expecting to be a finished product out of the gates. And hopefully we're playing at a good level. But, you know, we expect to go up many levels during the season. I had um I had asked Bruce about two big lineups, you know, running either LaMarcus or Blake or Blake and Paul. I asked if it, if that's something that you guys have done in practice a lot. He said, you know, a little bit, but not too much. Um, not having Kyrie, does that make that maybe something more attractive for you in the regular season as another way to kind of generate offense? Well, I think we got to explore both big and small lineups. You know, I think for sure and certainly uh, we'll explore some bigger lineups and, um, and we also want to explore some small lineups. So, um, you know, where we, where we adapt to our new kind of, uh, roster, so to speak, you know, I think we look for a lot of different optionality and, and, uh, solutions to different issues and matchups. Oh, on zoom. Hey, Steve. Um, good seeing you again. I wanted to follow up on Joe's question about, uh, that you were saying, Hey, we still have the same goals, championship goals, but maybe the path there's a little different. Um, you guys, the Clippers, the Sixers, the Nuggets, you guys all had like rosters built to win championships and for whatever reason out of your control, um, things have kind of disrupted that a little bit, whether it was an injury or something else. I was wondering as coach, how does your vision of, of how you're getting this team to prepare for that one goal, maybe change or adapt when you have a curveball like this thrown your way? I mean, I think the, you know, I don't know if I have anything uh, exceptional to say on the matter other than, you know, we, when you lose an exceptional talent like that, your roster is built in a certain way under the parameters of having three guys. And so everyone has to slide up a spot, so to speak, or more. So we have to, you know, win with 
corporate knowledge, growth from last season, connectivity, um, an incredible team spirit, and building those bonds that, you know, I think transfer on the court and off. And, you know, like without getting too technical, I think, you know, those are the things we'll figure out as we go. But the, you know, I think the exciting part is how can we come together and overcome and, you know, build something that uh, we're proud of and that we feel like every night we go out and we're very competitive. Thank you. All righty. Thanks.